towards the end of the year, right, um, the things that I'm discussing with, with, with John. Vitalo. Uh, yes. Exco has decided in Nantucket that there are still certain things we should do. Or, you know, we're supposed to invest, to uh, disperse money in uh, capitalized Botswana, uh, put some money into Tanzania and so on and so forth. I remember very distinctly, in fact, my partners were there they, they, at, a, at a slight distance. We just met the governor of the Bank of Botswana at the time, um, uh, Mamo uh, And um, I said, John, the, the funding, I told uh, management that, you know, we're going to be dispersing. He says, ah, it's just some administrative, uh, uh, you know, a bad word that I can't say on, on this show. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Then a couple of weeks later, I remember very distinct because it was my wife's birthday, remember? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I get a call from him. He's, he's in Lagos. And then he says to me, you know, with whatever he says. <sighs> and I said, John. And I did say this. I said, but John, I'm not a house. I'm not a field. You can't do things this way. Obviously, he was offended, uh, you know. But... You, you, we, we, we'd go through consultation, we agree things, we do them properly, and so on and so forth. You can't just tell me that this is what has been decided, you know? Obviously, Bob got to know that I'd called, I'd said to John, I'm not a, I'm not a field nigger. I, I did say that, actually. So Bob calls me, says, you know, but you know, in, in the US, this is not good language. And I said, I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean it that way, but this is what I meant. So anyway, uh, pretty much relationships started breaking down. Uh, the guys wouldn't listen to basic things. They, they I mean, they are limo guys. We, are, we, we go to meetings on foot. We walk. So, um, yeah, so long story short, that's, that's how the cookie crumbled. Mm. Uh, yes, but one, one of the most important things, and I say this to new uh, uh, young entrepreneurs, once you list a company, it's no longer yours. Mm. So you must, uh, you know, uh, accept the fact that a listed company belongs to shareholders, public and private, and therefore, you know, certain things can happen. And along the way, I can tell you so many instances when I woke up one day and I thought I almost lost my job because directors can decide. Mm. Yeah. And so um, when, when things, we saw that things were not going well, Fortunately, at that time, the guys were really, uh, you know, in cloud nine. John came, met our chairman. Uh, initially, they wanted to isolate us, but we decided, no, we, it's either all of us or nothing. So, do you, do you want to lose these guys? Yes. Yes, we can, we can replace them tomorrow. We are like... And I told my colleagues, guys, let's take our money and run because I don't like where this uh, train is going. It's going at full speed. It has no controls. Uh, yeah. <laughs>